Hey there friends, on today's episode we are going to be doing a tool review and unboxing of this Roby 18 volt high pressure inflator. It's part of the Roby One Plus line of power tools and it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you all the ways that you can use this thing and why I've added it to my collection. My name is Scott, welcome to the garage. So I actually picked up this Roby high pressure inflator at Home Depot today. I actually picked this up for 24 bucks and uh, it does not come with the battery. You actually need to pick up the battery and the charger in one of the other packages or separately. I'm gonna be using the battery from this combo kit that I also picked up. I'm gonna be doing a separate video on this if you'd like to see some of the uses for that. But you, as you can see, it comes with two batteries and a charger. So here's a few features of the inflator. It's got a really nice digital gauge so you can get a lot of precision. It's got a accessory compartment which includes the sports needle, the regular pressure inflator nozzle that it comes with as well as high pressure nozzle and the operator's manual. You've got a zero to 150 PSI that you can get up to. This is primarily made for tires and then as you can see small inflatables. It's got a large diameter piston allowing for fast inflation and it's cordless. There's a 20 inch hose with an onboard storage clip so you can get a little bit of distance between the inflator and the tire that you're trying to inflate. And then it's also got this cool kind of pistol grip. So that's a really quick overview. Let's go ahead and box this and just take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here is the inflator straight out of the box. As you can see, it's basically the inflator with your hose, 20 inch hose. You've got your instruction manual over here and then you have the main unit with all of the attachments that it comes with down in the base. Now again, that little black one is gonna be for your little inflatables, as well as a sports inflator over there on the other side. So starting with the little accessory pocket here, basically this just is a plastic cutout where you can snap your adapters into place on either side. This adapter actually wraps around the sports nozzle and is held into place like that. So nothing super fancy. So you then have your 20 inch little hose here that can actually lock into place up top that'll snap into place. And then we also have our digital reader over here on the side. So I'm gonna pop a battery into this thing. Again, it's part of that one plus uh, family of power tools. So all of the batteries that are 18 volt will go with this specific model. And uh, let's get it charged up and give it some testing. All right, we've charged up our one plus lithium battery. We're ready to insert it into the power inflator. Again, all you do is kind of line things up this way. There's a slot right underneath the power tool. And basically you can even just do this with one hand. This thing is just gonna slide in and it's gonna get a nice good click for you. And now it is ready to go. Now when you actually put the battery in, you can see the digital readout over here will not light up. There's no kind of on button or anything like that. This is actually just ready to go by hitting that pistol grip trigger. And uh, watch what happens. This is actually a bit loud, but watch what happens when I initially hit that. So as you can see, that's when we're gonna start getting our digital read out. And again, let me give you a little more of that PSI so you can hear how loud it is. So a bit loud, I will, uh, I will say that, but um, let's go ahead and get this on to some tires and see how the inflation process works. Okay, so I'm out here outside of the garage and I think it's time for some good testing with this thing. So the reason I really like the portability of this guy and the ease of use is because I'm gonna be using it for three different purposes. I'm gonna be using it primarily for my mountain bike. And basically I've got some Presta valves on my bike. So we'll need to have a little Schrader adapter, which is really easy to put on. Okay, so here's our little Schrader adapter and this is gonna go straight into the nozzle of the inflator. And all we do is basically just open up this Presta valve on the mountain bike. And then we're going to insert it into the adapter and just screw that down. And that's going to be all ready now for the inflator. So I'm just going to take the inflator nozzle. I'm going to put it on there. You can, you can hear the air kind of coming out. I'm going to snap shut that little closure. And then let's go ahead and give this a little bit of gas. 
So you can see that really, really quickly puts air into our tire. Again, my optimal fill is gonna be roughly around 22 to 23 PSI. So I don't wanna over inflate this, which you can do fairly quickly. As you can see, it kind of spurts up really quick. Again, this digital reader will give you a better idea of where you're at. Now, one of the things that this doesn't have is a quick option to release air. That would be kind of nice in case you overinflate. But again, all you really need to do is take off the adapter and release a little bit of air. So let's look at the second application of how I'm gonna be using this. All right, our second application is gonna be used on this Nissan Titan, and we're gonna be inflating these large tires. Let's see how it works on this guy. And again, with these truck tires, this is really easy because that's what that adapter hose is actually meant for. So we're just going to remove the cap here. And I'm going to stick the end of our hose right onto the tire. You're going to hear air start coming out. And then we're just going to close again that little clip valve and seal everything off. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that trigger and see where we're at. So if you just click it once, you'll get an immediate reading. You can see we're at 34.5. And these guys should be right around that 33 to 35 mark, depending on the cold temperature rating, which you can find on your inside door. Let me go ahead and put a little extra air in, then we can release it out just to see how well these inflate. So again, you can see it does take a little bit longer than a bicycle tire to inflate these big high volume tires on the truck. So you're gonna need a little more time when you're squeezing that trigger to get that extra PSI. Okay, and one last application is gonna be on our vintage trailer. We tow this thing around quite a bit here in Colorado, and I wanna make sure I have something that can quickly get a reading and extra air into these little trailer tires if needed. Okay, and just like the truck tire, we've got our little valve that's up here. Let's go ahead and undo that, and it's gonna work the exact same. So let me get the hose right up onto that valve, and we'll give this a little bit of air. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a little bit of air and see where our reading is at. Okay, we're at 38. Now these run at about 40 PSI. It's where you kinda of wanna run them cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that button. Let's put a little air in. Okay, so as you can see, you overinflate about two PSI, and then it will regulate back to the area that you want. Now, again, um, this is running a little bit quicker on that trigger to, to pump up these specific tires. Again, they're just a little lower volume than that Titan truck. Okay, there you go, friends. That is the Roby One Plus Power Inflator. Thanks so much for watching, friends. If this has helped, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because we get a lot more tool review videos that we're gonna be doing really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.